Good Tuesday morning with Breezy News. I'm Chris Davis. Outside right now, 74 degrees. Your forecast is on the way and online now at breezynews.com. Kosciuszko police continue to search for the men responsible for the armed robbery of Dixie Gas on Highway 12. The robbery occurred Sunday night at about 9 p.m., and according to store manager Debbie Lackey, the description is very similar to the bandits who held up China Walk Thursday. Lackey says she was not at the store, which is Kosciuszko's only full-service filling station at the time it was robbed, but she arrived soon thereafter and spoke with employees. I couldn't see them because they were wearing bandanas. Do you know whether they were black or white or what their description is? They were black. You can see part of their faces, maybe from the na- nose up to the forehead. And do you know how much money they got? Around $270. Lackey says the men had guns and also took about $10 from a customer who was at the pump. Kosciuszko Police Investigator Pete Belk told Breezy News the men got away on foot. Police are urging anyone with information to contact investigators at 289-3131. Atala County Fire and Rescue crews were kept busy Saturday with three separate motor vehicle accidents. The first was reported at 6.53 a.m. on Highway 43 South at the intersection with Highway 14. Rescue crews tell Breezy News this was a two-car wreck, but no one was significantly injured. At 11.23 a.m., crews responded to a motorcycle wreck on Highway 35 North. Two people were injured when the bike hit a deer. They were transported to Montford Jones Memorial Hospital. At 10.22 p.m. Saturday, firefighters were called out when they saw a car flipped on Highway 43 South. The accident sent one person to the hospital. Kosciuszko Rotarians participated in a rousing discussion of the American economy Monday. Rotarian Steve Frank led a question and answer presentation on the current monetary situation in the country, which he believes is a product of mismanagement by the powers that be, too much government control, and an attitude by younger folks toward self-gratification. Frank believes the government should not be involved in auto-related matters in Detroit and that the proof is in choosing fiat as a financial partner for the ailing automaker. Chrysler. He also believes the out-of-control Treasury will print enough dollars to send the country into heavy inflation. Frank's advice? Do not be apathetic and allow the government to do what it wants without consequence and spend what you need to and not what you want to. Mississippi's sales tax holiday will be July 31st through August 1st, just in time to outfit the kids from head to toe before they go back to school. Shoppers won't have to pay the regular 7% sales tax on purchases of clothes and shoes that individually cost less than $100. Grown-up merchandise, including shawls, work uniforms, bow ties, religious clothing, golf dresses, and support hosiery, Also are eligible, the Mississippi Sales Tax Commission has an A to Z list of eligible and non-eligible items, but basically the tax savings will be on pants, shirts, blouses, dresses, coats, jackets, belts, hats, undergarments, and garments sold as a set. Eligible footwear includes dress shoes, rubber thong flip-flops, sandals, tennis shoes, and jellies. But accessories such as jewelry, handbags, and backpacks are not included in the savings. The statewide sales tax holiday, which passed in the 2009 legislative session, begins at 12.01 a.m. July 31st and ends at midnight August 1st. Officials with the Mississippi Department of Health say there are now 207 confirmed cases of swine flu in the state. This includes 44 in the immediate area. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, there is still much that is unknown about the virus. The number of deaths from the disease has not been anywhere near the number from seasonal flu, which is generally about 200,000 per year, mostly in at-risk populations. Mississippi has reported no deaths from the disease. Still, state health officials say practicing good hygiene is a good way to keep from coming down with either flu strain. There is now one case in Atala County, three in Holmes, 10 in Madison, three in Yazoo, one in Leak, and 26 in Winston County. Health officials advise that the elderly, expectant mothers, those who are already ill, and young children are the most vulnerable to H1N1. Taking a look at your forecast for Kosciuszko. Today, a 40% chance of scattered showers or storms in the morning with a high of 88. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low at 71. And Wednesday, sunny skies with a high at 96 and a few clouds. Thursday and Friday, we see significant rain chances with a high of only 89 Friday. Find the latest news and weather from Kosciuszko and Itala County on the web 24-7 at breezynews.com. With Breezy News, I'm Chris Davis.